In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix VRAM limits, low GPU usage, and random FPS drops using a few powerful optimization steps that actually work. Before using these tweaks, I was stuck on lower FPS in games, even though my system is capable of much more. And the main reason behind this is VRAM mismanagement, corrupt caches, and Windows CPU scheduling limiting how fast your GPU can communicate. So before we start the video, all I ask in return is that you please subscribe and drop a like on this video. We're going to start by clearing the Windows shader cache, which stores old compiled shaders that can cause stutters or limit GPU usage when they become corrupted. This step alone can make Fortnite feel instantly smoother, especially during fights or when loading new areas. To do this, open PowerShell as administrator and run the commands provided in the video description. These commands automatically wipe the NVIDIA DX cache, GL cache, AMD DX cache, and Microsoft D3D shader cache folders. Once the cache is cleared, Windows and your GPU will rebuild everything fresh the next time you play, which helps eliminate micro stutters and VRAM fragmentation. Next, we're going to reset your GPU drivers without reinstalling anything. This fixes problems where your GPU suddenly uses low percentages or gets stuck at the wrong power state. Open command prompt as administrator and run the two commands from the description. The first one, DISM restore health, repairs corrupted system components, while the second command, SFC scan now, fixes damaged GPU related files. After this process completes, your GPU driver services behave like new, which often results in higher GPU usage and more stable frame rates in Fortnite and other games. Now, we're going to apply one of the most important optimizations in this guide, enabling ultra-low latency behavior through MMCSS, which is the multimedia class scheduler inside Windows. Open the registry editor and navigate to the path included in the description. Here, you will set network throttling index to FFFFFF and system responsiveness to zero. Both of these tell Windows to stop reducing real-time processing speed, which lets your GPU receive data faster. In Fortnite, this improves build delay, input response, and prevents GPU underutilization when your CPU gets busy. Our next step improves VRAM memory management, which is extremely important if you have a GPU with 4 to 8 gigabytes of VRAM. When VRAM fills up, Windows starts swapping textures to system RAM. If this process is slow, your game will stutter, freeze for a moment, or drop FPS. To fix this, open the registry editor again and go to the memory management path provided in the description. Here, you're going to enable Disable Paging Executive by setting it to 1, which keeps important GPU and driver processes in RAM instead of being paged to disk. Then, set Large System Cache to 1 as well. This helps the system handle caching more efficiently when VRAM is under load. Together, these tweaks improve the flow between VRAM and RAM, so textures load faster and your GPU stays fully utilized. After that, we're going to apply one of the simplest yet most effective game-side optimizations, disabling full-screen optimizations. Windows 10 and 11 force every game through a compositor layer, which can add delay and sometimes drop performance. For Fortnite, simply go to your game installation folder, right-click the Fortnite client-windows64 shipping.exe file, choose Properties, and go to the Compatibility tab. Enable Disable Full Screen Optimizations, then click Change High DPI Settings and set DPI Override to Application. This forces true full screen mode, allowing your GPU to run the game without Windows interference. The result is higher FPS, lower latency, and more consistent frame pacing. Another powerful step to help fix VRAM limits and prevent stutters is increasing your virtual memory, also known as the page file. When your GPU runs out of VRAM, Windows starts swapping data into system RAM. To adjust this setting, go to System Properties, Advanced, Performance, Settings, Advanced, Virtual Memory. Once you open the virtual memory window, uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives and select your main drive, usually C colon. Now set a custom size based on your RAM. If you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, use 4096 megabytes for minimum and 8192 megabytes for maximum. If you have 16 gigabytes, use 8192 megabytes minimum 
and 16,384 megabytes maximum. And since my system has 32 gigabytes of RAM, I recommend setting 16,384 megabytes minimum and 32,768 megabytes maximum, which gives the system enough headroom without wasting space. After entering your values, click set and then restart your PC. Increasing the page file ensures that when your VRAM fills up in games like Fortnite, the system uses fast, pre-allocated virtual memory instead of crashing your FPS, resulting in smoother gameplay and higher GPU stability. Combine all these steps together and your system becomes far better at handling VRAM usage, GPU load balancing, and real-time performance. Whether you're aiming for more stable competitive FPS in Fortnite or simply want smoother gameplay across all your titles, these optimizations will help your GPU perform at its full potential. If you want me to make a part two with even more advanced tweaks, let me know in the comments. And remember, every command and registry path you need is available below in the video description for easy copy and paste. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.